Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and my first tutorial video. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see. If there's anything uh, you would like to see a tutorial for, just comment and I will do my best to create a new tutorial. Thank you very much. So, this is a tutorial for how to create a, a mesh network using multiple Synology MR2200ACs. It's, it was quite obvious when I bought multiple units, it wasn't that clear how to set to use multiple units to create a mesh network. Uh, so I'll guide you step by step. Uh, some of you might be uh, familiar with Synology SRM uh, or at least Synology DSM if you have a Synology NAS. So, the first thing you want to click on is Wi-Fi Connect. If you don't have an icon on your desktop, just click on the main menu and you will find Wi-Fi Connect as an icon on the main menu as well. Next thing you want to do is to click on Wi-Fi Point on the left hand side. If you already have a primary Synology router installed or if you're going to use the uh, MR2220AC as your primary router, it will be in the list on top. In my list you can see that I already got a primary MR2200AC router as well as an additional mesh point with a wired backhaul. I will explain later how you set up a wired backhaul. So the first thing you want to make sure is that your mesh point is in range of your primary router that it is connected to power and leave it on for about a minute until the LED is blinking blue. As soon as your mesh point is blinking, the, the LED is blinking blue, just click on Wi-Fi points ready. It could take a while to search for the new mesh point but just be patient it normally takes about one to two minutes depending on your network speed. So there is my uh, mesh point. You want to make sure that you have ticked enable and then you can change the uh, Wi-Fi mesh point name uh, to something more useful. So I'm just uh, using a Norwegian word for basement and I'm keeping the MR2200AC to make sure I can identify the mesh point. And the next thing you want to do is just click next. Uh, it will now update the mesh point to make sure that it has the latest version of the software and that the router and the mesh point, if your if your router, primary router and your mesh points are all MR2200 ACs, that they all run on the latest and same version of the SRM. So setup is complete. It says strong signal. You got the green checkbox to say that everything is fine and the next thing to do is just to close the whistle. If you have more than one mesh point, in my instance I got three mesh points, you just repeat this process for every mesh point. Make sure that you're connected to power, make sure it's within reach of the primary router and make sure you leave enough time uh, for the LED to go from steady blue LED light to a blinking blue LED light. So, next question. How do you make sure that your mesh points use a wired backhaul? So, you do want to make sure that when you connect your mesh points initially, they are not connected to the Ethernet. So, no cables apart from the power cable connected to the mesh points. And when you have completed this setup, you can move the mesh point exactly to where you want, connect it to your Ethernet, and when you connect it to power again, it will go through and configure itself and use the Ethernet port as a dedicated backhaul port. So if you want to test the strength of your signal from one of your mesh points to the closest connecting mesh point, you can use that functionality to performance test the link. It's a really useful feature and I recommend you do it to see if you have 
maximize the connection between each mesh point. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it will help you set up a mesh network using multiple Synology MR2200ACs. Remember to subscribe and feel free to comment. Thank you very much.